Hello, greetings, hola, welcome to Side Divine. I hope all is well with you and yours on this lovely Sunday afternoon. All right, so I do feel like some messages need to be shared. Hold on. I just feel like some messages need to be shared, a little bit of cosmic support. So we're gonna do pick a card. Um, so you select the deck that you feel catches your attention the most and we'll read on it. But it does, um, I do get the energy right off the top of um, reminders, path reminders, are you going in the right direction? Um, is everything okay or what's coming up that you might need to get out of the way of or sit down in the theater or go get some popcorn? Mm. <laughs> so let's find out what's going on. So please, if you have questions or you needed this reading particularly, select the deck that resonates with you the most or the one that just catches your attention, whichever one caught your attention the most. And we'll go from there. Okay. So I feel like we should start here. Um, mm. Okay. Let's have a look at what's going on with you if you chose deck one. Okay, I'm not even going to mess with y'all on this one. If you chose deck one, uh, getting the energy of needing to go back. What's going on with one? Hmm. So what I just heard was clear the path, charging ahead. Ooh. So if you chose this deck, you are going to be using some of your chaos, your your chaotic self. Um. So it may you may be dealing with something or. Something coming in soon that's going to require you to be flash impulsive. I hear Michael Jackson's song, Leave Me Alone. You might have been dealing with somebody who's bullshitting you or wasting your time. Liar, liar, pants on fire is what I also hear. So you might have been dealing with or you might be dealing with someone who... It's gonna, it's gonna require some pushback. This is a situation that requires push. You may have somebody um, following you, chasing you, trying to get your attention, to get what they want. And you are, whoever this person that you got in trouble with, it's you are in some way their karma. Or you begin, you launch. I see someone jumping off a diving board. So you might be the one, you might be the diving board for somebody to jump into a, whoa, what I heard is a pool of pimp piss. I swear I'm not listening to any rap music. <laughs> Or anything like that. So I don't. What? I hear. So weird. 
Here's something about jumping off, sliding off of a razor blade into a pool of pimp. What the fuck is that? Okay, look. Um. Okay, so you're going to have to take back your love or your care from someone. The And when I say care, I mean giving up. Somebody might be making a situation not tolerable. No longer suffice. It doesn't work. Um, you may not be doing well with someone's energy towards you. But whatever this is, it feels like it's going to come to a head in a very major way. And, okay, hey, you're Patty LaBelle. I got a new attitude. Ooh. Yeah. Nobody's really expecting that from you, are they? At the bottom, right here. I'm just looking at the dice. But um, the emperor's sitting right here, son of the morning. So you may, you know, the son of the morning. It's, it's devil energy, right? Um, it's So it's you having to use a darker side of yourself to deal with people. They may not expect that from you. And I'm not saying you got to be dark, but it's flipping the script um, energetically. Motherfuckers ain't expecting you to come that way. Oh, clap. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, so you are altering the minds of the others. Altering the minds in such a way that they are, they, they, they may not, whoever this is that you're dealing with, they don't know how to respond to this shit. Mm. <laughs> And I'm not laughing at you, uh, those who chose deck one. I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at the minds that don't know which way to go. Those who don't know how to deal with the end of um, being able to use you, make fun of you, bother you, disturb, whatever it is. They don't know how to deal with the new face, the new attitude, the new you, the stronger you. That was always there. Okay, period. Maybe some motherfuckers thought you was on some fool shit, but that's not the case. Justice. But she comes out in reverse. So you may be, maybe that's what's coming in here. You're denying people access to being able to fuck with you. Are you deck one? I'm just going to call you one. I'm going to call you all by numbers. Okay? One. One. All you ones out there. Are you, like, throwing people off your timeline? You're prov okay. So, cosmic support data. Whatever you're doing or about to do, this flash response, this flash change of face, whatever this is, your haters do not know how to deal with defeat. So, the karma energy is doing a loop around and going back where it came from, yeah? And how does that look? It looks now like others, maybe you got somebody trash talking, right? Or they're just being foul and doing it in front of other people, thinking that um, it's like bully energy a little bit, right? So maybe you got somebody thinking that at one time, everybody was on their side against you. Your haters are starting to look like haters. Now, 
full transformation of that. Damn, full transformation of that makeup job. And I'm talking like real putting on makeup. Now, that putting on hater makeup takes time, okay? So I know you're going to have to sit down in the theater and eat your popcorn. Eat it slow, okay? Just sip sip on your, your juice. Now, I'm a pink lemonade kind of girl. Sip slow, you know? Just sip it slow while your haters, mm-hmm. they're, they're pouring theirs out. Still trying to prove a point. Dear ones. Eight of wands. But this is in reverse, okay? So things are going at their own pace, right? So it may look a certain way. It may look like, you know, things aren't moving as fast as you'd like them to. But the energy of karma that went out and created the drama, it's gonna take, it may take that much time going back, okay? But I don't really feel like that. I feel like it is moving at a faster pace back around to here. Hey, six of swords. So the transition is taking place. Definitely 100% ones. I'm going to need y'all to sit down in the theater, go on and eat your popcorn. If you even want to get up and go get another snack, like some delicious nachos, you have time. Because nachos are delicious. Wait a minute. Look, okay, look. So this is what was at the bottom. This is what's coming, okay? The universe is going to make things correct. The cosmos are definitely um, doing what is necessary to move the energy back to those who sent it out to you. So please have patience or have nachos. You taking this time to pull back your energy is intelligent movement. You taking this time to um, show that other side of self, the one that doesn't need to fight, the one that is moving forward, onward, and upward, A, it's confusing as a freak to your haters, to those who bother you. Some of you have a, some of you don't have a group of haters, you might have one. If you where am I peeing? Okay. If you take notice, the snake. See that snake? See the snake trying to get the hermit's attention? <laughs> the hermit's got this, I feel like it's a pebble, but it looks like an egg too. But there's this stone of, you know what? Not being actively reactive. It's being busy. The hermit could be working on other things, working on life, dealing with life, new things, onward and upward. Okay, but without a doubt, (laughs) if you are quiet, It will not be difficult to analyze quietly now, analyze the the troubles or the energy that is moving back around to them. So, bravo, shut the fuck up and sit down. Now, if you are, displaying the other side of self to your haters. Mm -hmm. It may look like it's not uh, working or perfect, but please remember this is 
that energy going back around. It just looks a little screwy at first. So if you've got somebody who's bothering, picking, poking at you, um, when the energy goes back around successfully, they're like, oh my God. I want you to imagine we've all seen a roach dying, right? You spray the spray on it, it kicks around for a little while. It may even get back upright and run off or run around in circles. It's going crazy. This is that period. And I'm not calling nobody a roach, but that's the, that's the visual that came through. So I shared it. Okay. So the roach, the roaches or roach has been sprayed with the first or second burst of your cosmic return roach spray, right? That energetic return. And it's, it's toxic. Okay. The energy that went in was toxic. What's going out is toxic. So there's going to be that toxic period, right? Uh, what else does one need to know? Again, the swiftness. So there's the, really the reminder of being patient. Okay. Time is on your side. You must be patient. But if you are patient and don't be smacking on your popcorn and nacho, I know nachos are noisy. So try to chew quietly, right? That way you can hear <laughs> the moon is here in reverse. You can hear the confusion. You might be able to see it. I don't know. You might be able to see it. But the revelation will be clear to you that they are that ro that roach spray done impacted it done hit that little burst done hit and it's like ee, they are so whoever's fucking with you um and i really was targeting for the next 7 days a week ahead even um so at some point during the week if not already you're going to see whoever is against you doing this thing right here, because they don't, they don't know how to respond, right? The roaches don't be expecting to get sprayed, but then when they do, it's like, what the fuck? Let's get you some angel advice on top of that. You don't need it, but let's go anyway. For one, advice. Ooh. So you've got the newest newness. Do not wait, especially if you need to get some tasty nachos. <laughs> Do not wait to live and pursue whatever your goals are. Keep moving, keep functioning, um, and don't stand there and watch the, the roaches doing anything for too long. Nah? Look at this. Evolve or repeat, but it comes out at an angle, and it's going in the direction of evolving not repeating. You are going to be getting some gifts um, while you are on your lucky path. Look at that. Something is going to be gifted to you also in the next week. Oh. Sleeping more in reverse. You ain't sleeping. You may have also, you may also be choosing to let go of that one aspect of yourself that brought in that garbage ass chaos or brought in the haters. You might be just altering it. Um, so there's a, a certain aspect or certain display even of yourself that you are not working with at this time and it could be protecting one side of yourself that emotional element of self or what others may have previously considered the weaker version of self you're putting that away this is a time of ego knowing your worth knowing your truth doing what is important with your time and your energy. B 
Be still in the theater. Look at that. Breathe, focus, love, and stay silent. Some of you, um, hold on. Hmm. All right. Some of you um, need to be silent while you're acquiring your blessings. So whatever your gift is from the universe, I see space. So this could be moving. This could be, um, okay, I hear change of residence. So I don't know. Maybe you got something different going on in your world where you're moving, shifting spaces. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up while you get your blessings together. Your haters is going to see it anyway, but at this time, be still in your space, especially if it's a new space. So there's a chosen blindness that must be um, also acquired at this time. Be mindful of not being a show off. Your haters already know you're doing well. That's why they're in the that's why the roach spray is bothersome, duh. And when I say roach spray, let's just say the roach spray is your success. The fact that you're doing well, you didn't fall apart like they did. Everything is okay. You can eat. You can wipe your own ass. Everything is great. That's not what they wanted. So I'm going to need you to sit down. Ones. Okay, I'm going to need you to sit all the way down in the theater. Because there's a show to watch. And it may be a little bit um, abrasive in some aspects, especially if they're still kicking around about you or still trying to wage war with you or talk trash. It's going to be still a little bit abrasive, but guess what? It was always. Now you're just quiet and you're noticing it. Nothing different, except that you're paying a different type of attention. Look at that. Your lack of um, giving in or joining in the symphony of fuckery has stopped the karma creation that you were dealing with. It stopped it. So it's going to be, you know, it's a little bit noisy on the way out. It's a little bit noisy still on the way out, but it is only noisy because you have stopped contributing to the noise. So of course you're going to hear it more. It sounds different to be in a train than it does to be standing right outside the train, right? Being sprayed with the roach spray ain't the same <laughs> as holding the can, right? Like it's a whole different experience on both sides. So anybody who's fucked with you and you pull back your energy, keep doing it. Because that is... Um, in that energy of silence, you know what? I'm not going to fuck with you. I'm not going to bother with you right now. I'm doing me. It is the motherfucking me show. It's the me and minds show. While you are doing you and you're not connecting with that chaotic energy, it, the energy doesn't disappear. The energy doesn't pull up a chair and wait for you to pay attention to it. The energy returns to where it came from. So now sit down. Now, if you are going out back into the lobby to go get some nachos, bring your girl a plate. <laughs> Put some jalapenos on it. I do like it spicy. All right. I think that's fabulous. Enjoy yourself and do what is important for you well, all of that's going on. Okay. Deck two. Did you select deck two? Let's pull some dice for you too. What's going on with tubes? All oh, the lovely tubes.
there may be the energy of sudden action coming up next week. Um, you're going to have to make a choice for yourself and others is what I'm getting. Okay, side message. If you chose deck two, be mindful when you're driving next week. I saw something like avoiding a car accident. So pay attention. Something about the radio. Um, so make sure you're not, make sure you're paying attention to the road. And, and I don't feel like it's for you. I feel like getting out of the way of somebody else who is not paying attention. Yeah, this really does feel like that. If you are a aggressive driver, um, homework assignment for you. Next week, practice being a courteous driver. We'll just call it a game. Just call it a game. Make a get a post-it note or a little notepad or something. And put it on your dashboard where you can see it, you know, over the air conditioner or over the radio face or something that you're playing a game next week of courteous driver. I don't normally get messages like this. So I'm going to need you to really, really, really play this game of courteous driver. That means letting people cut in front of you. If they're going to flip you off and keep driving because they don't like you running the speed limit go with it. Let it happen. Um, when you see that driver or the aggressive one and you let them go on and pass you and you don't try to play speed up games or any of that shit, when you see that person, I want you to high five yourself and go get an ice cream or something delicious for yourself. This is escaping death. This is escaping death. Um, damn. And travel is sitting here more than once. Seven is right here. Seven and seven. So there's a journey here that I want you to make as safely as possible. So if you are traveling, um, and you normally are a, you know, everything's good. You, you or you're a serious driver. Could be a truck driver also. I want you to not be a jerk driving next week. We're just going to call it a game. I don't even want you to be like, somebody's trying to kill. No, no, no. We're just going to call it a game. Okay. And next week's game is courteous captain. <laughs> Because you are the captain of the starship on the road, you're going to be extra courteous on purpose. I want you to be beyond courteous to other idiots on the road. I don't even want to say who's dying or any of that shit, but there's a potential for running, dealing with uh, someone who is crazed and possibly armed. 13 is here in my vision more than once. Oh boy. And it's quick, high ego action, high ego response, impulsive behavior can be someone chasing you down the road. Listen. So what we're not gonna do, I hope that ain't the main message, but if it is, that's great too. Lots of impulsive action. So I want you to be mindful of your impulsive behavior. Because this is a fucked up lesson that happens because of somebody being rebellious, bad communication. And how can you communicate on the road? Can't even happen. It's karma and then some for bad behavior. It's someone being overwhelmed. Um, Just a very bad, fucked up response, instant karma. 
somebody just being very excessive in how they react, how they respond. And it's chaos. So maybe you don't get a love message here, number two. If it's saving your life, that's beautiful. If it's avoiding an unnecessary accident or some bullshit like that, beautiful. So next week's game, even if you didn't pick deck two and you're just still watching, that message is for you too. I want you to be extra careful on the road. Um, the energy of impulse, deadly impulse. If that scares you enough to make you play the game of courteous driver, courteous captain, captain courteous, that's better than captain chaos. So what else is here for deck two? Yeah. Somebody like... If somebody is crazy enough to cut you off or be aggressive and highly reactive, um, deck two, number twos, I want you to contain your emotion. Take it the other way. If you're dealing with somebody who's being very aggressive, take your energy in the opposite direction. Purging the urge in reverse. So... It's normally, if this is normally a situation where you would be reactive, no, 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 and no. When you see crazy this week, believe it. How many times do we need to see seven? Seven is about travel. Travel in options, controlling yourself, knowing better. And saying a beautiful goodbye, letting somebody just misdirection. Not a mystery, but a misdirection. So if somebody is acting crazy on the road, I know we don't be pulling messages like this, but I'm a remote viewer before emotions anyway. So I will take this data as a reading over love and friendship. Fuck that. If it saves a life, even better. So if you are out on the road and people is acting crazy on the road, when you see the crazy one who cuts you off or gets aggressive on the road with you or a driver around you, that's what we was taught. That's what this reading was about. Okay. Tools forgotten. Focus. Kind of looks like a parking cone or something. <laughs> okay, I'm done with you. Deck two. Listen, you really... What I heard is let it happen. So if you got somebody being aggressive with you on the road, get out of the way. Get out of the way. What else? I'm done. Done. Sorry. You're done. I just don't know how many times I need to keep seeing seven. But there it is. So you have options. Practice the right option. Whoever this is. Hold on. It's getting hot in here, so I know this is the message. Okay. Excuse the loud sounds. Air conditioner is now on. Um, whoever, whoever's. Whoever's doing that type of behavior, you, I, I'm saying it out of the way because the karmic, the karmic response can happen to you 
or someone else. This is my card of dangerous encounters. Okay, wrong direction, crossing paths. And a rebellious energy. This can be somebody who would get in front of you in heartbreak. Just rage energy. Rage energy. So stay out of it. When you see the crazy one, get over. You see crazy people coming up the road behind you acting crazy. Um, just pay attention. Stay focused. What happens to the person doing that? Ew. They may drive off the road, but they do go after someone else. And you will be guided out of it. Look at that. You'll be guided out by staying outside of it. Um, some of, if this is your data, you're going to, yep, it's here twice. If this is your data, you're going to see a story about it or hear about what happened. You're going to see it or hear what you missed. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so. I used to be an aggressive driver. Then I seen some accidents, right? And I'm like, oh my God, I don't want to be in that. So you get this opportunity here, deck two, number twos, if you chose two, you're going to stay out of the mess, okay? Helpless. <laughs> and then there's the memory map. Whatever this is, it's going to, it'll be on your memory map not to do it. Look, count your blessings. Whatever this is, you getting out of the way or not joining the aggressive behavior or returning it is going to save you. Okay. So remember what I said, muy importante. Let's move on. Deck three. Let's see what's going on with you. Oof. Okay, if you chose three, you may be having family issues or dealing with immaturity, immature energies. I'll tell you what I sense first. Um, there may be a mother and a father who are on the outs around family issues. And there may be an empress energy Okay, what I heard is an empress energy pretending to be a mother, which is confusing.
Okay, let me tell you what I'm sensing. If you chose deck two, what I sense is the uh, the the issues that sometimes float around um, parents splitting up. Okay. Oh, dog. Hold on. Hold on. Bear's trying to get in. Okay. All right. So, um, what I sense is a parental split that brings, that makes things go out of balance. Um, I sense the energy of a stepmommy type energy or somebody in the background trash talking to a parent, one side of a relationship. which creates conflict, of course. Three, be aware of gossipers, uh, people who feel like they are lifted by trash talking you, or saying things to others that creates confusion and distortion. If you are a parent and you're not, um, if there's, if you're a single parent uh, or you are sharing custody with another parent, make sure your image looks good because it feels like the energy of somebody talking about how somebody, like, you know, people break up, right? And there's a child in the middle and one of the parents is sore, bitter. So they may talk trash in front of the child. And it feels like the energy of uh, confusion for the younger ones or confusion, yes, but also a little bit of resentment. Because while this, while this could be in the Page of Cups, could be the energy of someone being childish in the way they behave. It can also be somebody no longer in dreamland. What I just heard is there is no other who can take your place. What are they trying to stall with? What's the fear? Ooh, that's weird. Somebody's trying to come up with some dirty ass fucking plans to create greater separation. If you are, if you're dealing with a bad or bitter ex, someone might be trying to figure out a way to create distortion by getting others to side with their bitterness. If there are children involved in this, it can be someone turning, trying to turn, trying to turn children against one of the parents by trashing the other parent. I don't like this. Someone will be trying to form, if you, if this is your data, somebody might be trying to form a new family, but then there's someone else who's afraid of that because of their thoughts, really. Overthinking. Somebody may also be trying to create a situation where 
um, they can deny access to the other person. If this is your reading, be aware of somebody trying to lure someone into behaving a certain way so they can make them look bad. So you might have an ex that's trying to make you look bad. I gotta tell you, I don't like this. It's like poisoning others. Poisoning young ones so somebody can move on. Got somebody trying to turn that wheel. Be aware of, if you if you're dealing with an ex and kids and y'all are fighting or not getting along, somebody's trying to make you look crazy. Or make you look bad. So they are victorious. Got Leo, got Libra, got Gemini. Somebody may be trying to cause an issue to make you look crazy so they can. Move on. If you if you are in a different okay, so if, if this is your reading and your ex has moved on and there's a shared custody or anything like that, um the new person the ex is with may be trying to feed ego e and look good, not realizing they're trapping themselves. If you got an ex that has moved on, they may. Ooh. Somebody's doing something for purposes of greed. Trying to make sure that they can take care. Oh, okay. Could be second message. Somebody's got an ex. You got an ex that moved. That they've gone on, right? But now, whoever they're with, whoever is engaging in this battle against you, like their new lover, new partner, whatever, whoever's helping them go against you, they don't really understand that they're trapping themselves. Big time. What's the karma for the new person, the third party in the middle of this that's working against deck three, the number threes? Ooh, it's my time. Seven of wands. Threes. If this is your reading, I want you to make keep it looking good. Make sure everything around you looks good. Get your affairs in order. Get your affairs in order. While you may be dealing with reckless speech, um, people looking at you all funny sideways, all in your business. Make it look good. Make sure you're not. Make sure nobody can say that you're doing anything chemical, especially if there are kids involved, no drinking or any of that stuff. Because you do have some energies or that third party energy, that new person energy, that is, I feel like somebody's reading up on how to cause greater damage. 
somebody is searching for ways to fuck with you, maybe from a legal standpoint. But listen, I'm going to need you to make it look good because whatever the situation is right here, whatever you went through with that ex-person, the new person got to go through that, okay? So instead of flipping out, have a little compassion. Make a song about it if you need to. Have a little love about it because whatever the fuck you went through, <laughs> they don't even understand that they're getting caged up in what's coming next. And if you're dealing with an ex that is corralling the bullshit, let it, listen, it sucks, it's fucked up, but work on making you look good. Look busy, get your affairs in order, get your life in order, look good, feel good, and do what you need to do to make sure balance is clear and correct on your end. Don't worry. The collapse is, is happening in real motherfucking time. Ooh, chow. I just chicken. When I look at this, okay. I don't know if you can see it very well, but there's see the little gate fencing. See how thin that is? It's like chicken wire. You know, you're ever driving down the road and you see those country side places and they got the wire fencing, but it's real thin. This is real, real thin. So thin that third party does not even see it. Yet, <laughs> they don't understand the craziness that's about to, that is slowly inching into their lives. Look, nine and ten of wands. So the hope and the belief that they can only do better than you. Oh, listen. What I'm gonna need you to also do three is sit down in the theater. And I'm going to need you to sit down because batteries are being installed in backs. Uh, big batteries. Like, these are big, like, car batteries. They're not like Duracell or nothing like that, right? No pretty cute bunnies bouncing around on drums, walking around. No, no, no. This is the ocean. This is the body count. Someone's being told a whole different story up here while not checking for what's in the water beneath them. And while they are in a boat, you see someone here talking to the other one like, and he's telling that woman what to believe in, what to fire bullets at. Sit down in the theater three. Sit down. Because this person right here is not asking the right questions. All they're doing is being conned and romanced into being the next body. Okay? They're just working there. They're doing the dirty work so they can be next under this boat. And they haven't even bothered to ask what direction the boat is going in. Because if you look back here, there's the land. This is land. See the little mountain, mountaintop, ridge thing going on back here? That's where the land is. So where are they going? <laughs> where are they going? They, they, he just got us shooting, 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 shooting at anything. Not even asking about the targets, just shooting. Just shooting, trying to be a bone collector over here. Not understanding that in time, the bodies, the energies that they took out will be sitting here in the theater seats, cracking up laughing while they're being eaten alive. And this ex person, the controller, the manipulator, they're just going to be watching the next one go through it. Have a seat. Have a seat. Threes. Or go out and get your nachos too. Go and get you some tasty nachos. Bring me back some extra jalapenos for my nachos from deck one. <laughs> I will be back 10 rows back watching all of it. Six of Wands. Success. <laughs> the undead are victorious. It is official. Please have a seat in the theater with your big ass head. 
I cannot see the screen. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, for the youth, if there are children involved, the children will eventually know what's right and what's wrong. They're going to know. But it's their karma lesson, too, in a very unfortunate way. So you make sure that your energy does not look like the hate or the sour shit that others are saying about you. Disconnect for your own health, however you have to at first. But when they are looking for the information, you're going to need to be prepared to reach out. You're going to need to be prepared so that you don't lose your chance. Because that may be what this other party is trying to make happen. There may be some who don't want you to look like you're a caring person. So you have others who are trying to turn that wheel and bring bad luck in. And they may be doing it by sending others out to fuck with you because they need to see you look bad. You need to act up so they can go, look, see, I told you the bitch is crazy. Or I told you he's crazy. They need to see that. Okay, what I heard is evidence. Ooh. Eight of Cups. Sorry if it's going blurry. They got the wrong motherfucking idea. So what you're going to be doing is avoiding the show that they want to see. Because it's somebody who knows that they, they, or they think they know how to poke you into reacting badly. So that they can send you on your way or tell everybody to avoid you. But they need you to be crazy. They need you to, to show that you ain't right in the head. You are mentally damaged and unfit. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit on top of a mountain in the rain with a snow shovel up asses. No, that's not what you're going to do. Okay, three. Because <clears throat> motherfuckers is crazy, okay? People think that you are reckless and cruel and crazy. Because that was in reverse. So opposite self, okay? Do not give your haters, especially an ex, don't give them what they're looking for, what they swear they've seen a million times already. <sighs> Seven of Swords. In reverse, okay? So while there are games being played, your game is fairness. Your game is logic. Your game is the transition into being prepared for when shit falls down on the other side. Some may be saying that you're surrounded by chaotic beings or bad people, and that's how they're saying you're a bad person. Maybe you're not doing anything bad. But you may have energies around you that can be pointed to and said, and you know, say, okay, maybe you're not bad, but maybe you hang out with shooters, gangbangers, uh, uh, bad people, and that you're addicted. Or that you put your energies in the wrong place. You're not healed. So somebody's going to try to make you expose your own secrets. Or things that you wouldn't want repeated out loud. They want to show that you're thoughtless, impulsive, uncaring. Um, that you're not... If this is parent stuff, it, that you're not a good parent. They want to show that you're combative, that you can't control yourself, you chase what isn't for you. This could be in the lovers you choose after the relationship. They want to chain you to damage.
And so there's a plan. So they have a plan. And if there's a third party or a new lover that your ex or baby daddy has taken on and you know that they're spitting negative data about you so they can be number one or whatever the fuck they're trying to do, um, you just get your affairs in order because whatever you went through with that person, that ex or the baby daddy or whatever, whatever you went through, they're going to go through it too. So don't give them what they're looking for. Innocence, you are not like the others. This is a reverse though, so they want you, they want to prove that you're as bad as they say. Look. Truth. Lying is not living. So make sure your living is truthful and looks good. Have your shit together. The knowing. What belongs in a place of priority so that it is a good environment for kids, if there are kids, or a better environment for you? This is mastering self, healthier living. And what I say, letting the energetic karma go back where the fuck it is coming from. So you go within, let them go away. Help less, help more. This is the time, um, threes, dear, if you chose type three, this is the time where you have to really, really understand who deserves your help and who doesn't. This is where you have to really, really be sure of who's truly helping you and who's not. And you may have to go within and be in a quiet place with yourself to really see who's truly helping you and who the fuck is helping themselves. There are people who deserve your energy and your faithfulness and you doing what's right. And then there are people who don't deserve that. So you do need to figure that out. Make sure you're not manifesting self-sabotage. Make sure your focus is good. Make sure you're not doing things based on boredom. So if that's partying and you're taking pictures of that shit and gather, listen, I really get the energy of somebody who is gathering their own evidence to give to someone, um, maybe from a legal standpoint. So it can't if the, if this is family court or somebody just trying to give someone higher up reasons to not to, to punish you or to say you're a bad person. It can also just be a parent who's talking trash about another parent in front of the kids. Kids can see things. And even though someone is saying something, for a very long time, children are very logical. They're way more logical than the adults in the room until they become poisoned by the minds of the adults in the room. But they never lose vision of what makes sense. They just learn how to not talk about it or what to do with, you know, maybe bad things to do with that energy, but... If this does involve children, they see the truth. So make sure they always see what is true in you. The good truth. And so there's a choice. Make sure you're making the better choice because somebody is trying to help you choose or trying to prove that you choose hell. So Wherever your divinity lies, make sure you're making balanced choices. Make sure that when you are around those, if this is does involve children, make sure, make sure they see only the best in you. That way when others are trash talking or saying fucked up shit, the children will hear that. And they will adjust and think accordingly. They will know that you are not like the others and that you're innocent. Trust. Trust in that. It will take, it might take a little time, but they see what they see. Six corrects itself. Triple six corrects itself here in this reading. So what was 
not in the right direction. What was a problem that didn't seem like it could be solved, it does get solved through a healing process where others experience the ego of others and the love of self. You get the rewards as people see what is real and what is not. You get the rewards um, when, other, when those who are listening to the trash talk, they, they will learn what is mature conversation and what isn't. In the meantime, protect yourself, protect your heart, your ideas, your energy, your passions. You might even have to pick up a, a hobby or two that reflects the new energy you want to push forward, that you want to be seen. So there is something you need to do to correct or to make sure the visual is known to others, okay? And that releases that chaotic creativity um, in yourself and removes the karma for you. What would be the advice for the one that is spitting that negative energy trying to create issues? They lose their gifts, they lose their energy. They become more aware of self. They're going to go through the process of gaining courage, but after struggle, they forget themselves. Whoever's speaking against you, too, is going to go through some financial hardships. Blessings that they had before will go out the window. <laughs> Somebody's going to... Whoever this is, if, if this is a parent situation and then there's a third party in there trying to suddenly play mama and shit like that, middle finger to that, but keep it to yourself. They are in manifestation mode. But what are they... Whoever's doing that is tying themselves to a spell. The one where they chase failure down a hill. <laughs> Somebody doesn't know what they're going to be getting, okay? Everybody can't see karma coming down the road. Everybody, can't, everybody doesn't have spiritual binoculars. They don't. What you gonna do? Okay? So it becomes a you versus them and whoever's stuck in the middle will see both sides. Whether they're seeing it already or it's coming real soon, they're gonna see it because of the words coming out of their mouth that don't match what they see with their eyes. You dig? You dig? Let it be, let it be. Make sure everything, make sure your hands are clean and they look good and healthy and wholesome. Because you are evolving while they step into a cycle of repetition they ain't ready for. Not on no long-term shit. Boop. <laughs> so if you got an ex and they've moved on and they got somebody new and they're trashing baby mamas or they got something to say about this is what you should do to handle it, please take a breath, three, if you chose deck three, take a breath. That poison is eventually, and, and if not in a short period of time, that poison begins to fill up the space. It fills the glass with poison. What might have been clear water at the beginning becomes poison. And then the person who's been feeding that poison has to drink that water too. They got to drink the poison water too. You can't just pour a glass for everybody in the room and not drink it too. So take a breath, go get a massage, spa day, I don't fucking know. Go out to the park, walk around, take a breath, take 10 of them. Because that poison does eventually fill the glass, fill the room. It is going to happen. But you stall it out by proving their bullshit. So make sure you're not doing that. 
Um, and definitely don't be taking pictures of it, is what I heard also. <laughs> okay. Let's move on to deck four. Did you choose deck four? Messages for four. Ew. Ew. The fuck is this? Gladiator? <laughs> wow. Um, okay. So, yeah. Um, this is a battle. Yeah. I mean, no likey. Somebody's in rebellion mode, rebellious, lesson mode, high level, lesson mode because of the choices made. And you're not happy. Ooh. Somebody's not happy with the choices they made, the actions they took. Somebody now realizes they're stuck in a battle. Stuck in the middle with you. That's a song. Clowns to the left of me. Jokers to the right. Here I am. Stuck in the middle with you. You may find yourself in a situation where you feel like you are being controlled. You now hear it in someone's words. As a light is being shined on a situation. Um, what I also just heard is somebody's going to say something or has already said something that lets you know the limitations of the connection or how they see you versus how they see other options. Someone, um, deck four, somebody is lighting the path, lighting a path for you. Somebody is shining a light. Okay, you, if you're if this is about love and relationships, and it's somebody new, they didn't already told you what the limitations is. If this is somebody old, they've told you what the relationship limits are, and the expectations. Maybe dealing with somebody that is money based, chained to it. And they've already said something dark or upsetting that lets you know you are in a battle. You may be dealing with somebody who likes massive levels of attention, um, likes to be looked at or admired by others, so that there could be this cheating spirit or somebody who doesn't mind trading your ass in for the next one. A broken giver. Be mindful of somebody in your fucking space who's only there for the money. I hear Bone Thugs and Harmony for the love of money. Make sure nobody's using you. Somebody might be trying to chain, chain you or connect themselves to your destiny. That's pretty deep, right? Wow. For some of you, this may be an older person. Or they may be older than you. Somebody didn't see your greatness. But they see it now. I don't know what you're doing, but somebody sees your future potential. And so maybe they had released you in the past. Um, maybe things fell apart in the past. Somebody's fighting to get that back. Ooh. Yeah. Somebody's trying to get that chain back together. 
Okay, four, deck four. I don't know what's going on in your world, but you look like money. You look like a whole bag of money. Maybe not, maybe not now. You might be like, bitch, I'm broke. <laughs> Talk about something going on with you, it has money coming. And so so shall the love. So shall the broken givers arrive. Trying to box your ass the fuck in. Somebody's trying to nail you to the floor. If you chose deck four, somebody wants what you got in the future. It is future potential that you, they're hoping, oh boy. Somebody's trying to connect themselves to your path. Where you going? We going to. Your journey isn't a, a group thing because you're not a tour guide. <laughs> but somebody thinks you're a tour guide right today to your bank. Your bank in the future, your greatness. Oh, no. Oh, boy. You might have a feminine energy who is needy and trying to attach themselves to you. I'm sorry, deck four. Number fours, y'all. I'm sorry. That sounds stressful. Yeah, whoever this energy is, this feminine energy, they are volcanic. I am sorry. Somebody's trying to get... Mm. Is this child support on crack or what? Somebody's trying to attach their future to you by creating tons of humans. There's maybe somebody who's talking family with you or trying to create one, and one is not enough in this situation. Somebody is trying to attach themselves to you in 10 different ways. Or four. Or maybe more. <sighs> I also heard something about fighting to fighting to fuck. <sighs> So let's see what the choice is here, because you can go on this journey where you're literally li your lifetime gets eaten, or you can pay attention to the signs and then run. <laughs> and you can move in a different place once you recognize the desperation in others. What I don't like about this energy is if you don't give them what they want, they become your greatest hater. And greatest because they're so close. So this is a cycle that you cycle. Wow. This is a period of transformation that's going to come through knowing who to say no to. Knowing who to not fuck with also. I feel like the universe is showing you something you've already seen before, yeah, but reminding you of what type of energies you need to avoid. So you don't get so you don't get your clock moved around for you. Your clock pushed back. That's what I heard. So you don't get your clock pushed back. I hope you understood that. Because I only understood part of that. <laughs> Damn. Somebody might be also trying to. Oh, sorry. If this is your data, is this groupies? Is this groupies because it feels like I hear poison? Never trust a big button, a smile. But you do have some energy around you that can easily flip. Go, it goes from extreme love to extreme hate. And whatever you're seeing on their faces, the hidden scam, the hidden plan is happening no matter what. So is this like groupy energy? Like, I'll make you love me even if you don't. 
but that's coming from an old song. Uh, I can't make you love me. Even if you don't, I can't make your heart feel something it won't. But I hear this, that I hear those lyrics in a whole different way. I can't, I can make you love me even if you don't. I will make your heart feel something that it won't. Somebody wants you to forsake all others, lose passion. Ooh, chap. Listen, if you're creative and you're trying to climb the creative scale in life, or you got goals like a motherfucker, this is like some back alley gang shit of energies trying to stop you. Take away your passion. Um, take away your energy. And put you in between a rock and a hard place. Because whoever's doing this plan isn't thinking like if they succeeded in stopping you from moving ahead and going for your dreams and goals, they don't realize if they stop you, they got to deal with the rage that goes with that. They ain't even thinking that. You got somebody or some people. It feels like one savage person who's willing to go to no ends. Like there is no end and what they'll do to trap you or to get in your way. Not gonna lie here, Inspector Gadget. What's that, the dude at the end? I'll get you next time, Gadget. Next time. He's petting the cat. You got one of them shits going on. <laughs> battle. So I'm not telling you to engage with this energy. I'm not. I'm really not. Let's get some advice. Ooh, I've never heard E40 in a reading before. I sprinkle me my sprinkle me my. So I don't know if somebody's going to try to sprinkle some crack cocaine on you and run. <laughs> That's what I heard. Somebody may be trying to get you lined up with some bullshit. Just be careful who's around you at this point. If you are dealing with a, I can't, something age collage or a mirage. There's a word for a group of people that hang out with you when you're famous. Oh my God, I can't think of a word. <laughs> it's Aj. Uh, I lost the word and it won't even let me come. It won't even let the word come through right now. So it's most likely one person. So um, you got somebody who, like, they're right by your side. But boy, do they have a plan to attach themselves to your everlasting future. And they will beat, shoot, stab, kick down a flight of stairs. Anybody who dares to try to get close to you. So if you know who that is, I'm going to need you to be very attentive to your environment, if not making moves to extract that energy from your environment because they're causing collapse behind your back. Um, sorry, hold on. I feel like I need to get more identifiers. This does feel like um, uh, somebody who might have given up portions of their life to be with you, or at least that's how they would say it. You may be a person who's surrounded by other people. This is a feminine energy you're dealing with. They may have a dangerous vice or they need to be number one. They have the ability to look hot, but man, are they cold. There are truths about them you may think you, oh. Hey, look, four. There's four, okay. If, if four is your deck, 
Whoever the fuck this person is, they're your karma. Ooh, we. They're your karma because you haven't asked all the right questions. You haven't conversated enough to. Oh my God. You haven't conversated enough to know how off this person is that's by your side. But you may have love for them because they've been by your side for a while, but that person operates from a place of total illusion and ego. They, there's a, a desire in them to control your mind. How many times does ego need to appear in this motherfucker? So we get ego twice, right? And so it's like having the best and worst fan as a partner or a lover or a travel buddy or best friend. They bring loss. Not yet, though. Like the minute you climb up to the top of the barrel and you don't fucking move fast enough for them. Or if God, God bless you if you decide to move on. This was in reverse. That person turns into the most excessive, over-the-top, damaged. Mm. I see tater tots. Is someone eating tater tots or potatoes? <laughs> Um, and I'm not a potato eater, so don't eat too many of those, okay? They're delicious, though. Anyways, you have somebody in a Taurus energy here, very jealous, possessive, all or nothing energy, and that's not okay. They keep score of everything you do. This could be someone who even keeps evidence or photos or proof in case they need to use it against you later. They are cognizant of the group around you or your friends. And if necessary, they're gonna teach you some lessons. They're gonna teach you the kind of lessons that will require cycle after cycle after cycle after cycle after cycle after cycle of, of fuckery before you can finish with them. Like they, whoever this is, if you got rid of them, they could take you through multiple levels of shit until you're all out of energy, money, um, your goals. Got Virgo, got Aries, and seven. So you may have somebody who's sitting quietly on the sidelines getting more and more data about you, getting smarter, gaining the courage and the confidence that you may be giving to them within the connection. I feel like this might be for someone famous. If you're famous or you got fans and popularity, I need you to be so, you, oh my God. Dude, I feel like you got somebody who might function like almost like a friend or a lover, but they're not, being honest about why they're with you. Dude, I feel like somebody's collecting data right next to you. And they may be sober when you're not. And you're dealing with a two-faced, you're Gemini, in the wrong position to me. Somebody's being nosy in your energy, but posing as a lover. Or posing as a friend. But they're working. They're really working. They're really working on being the agent of confusion in your life. I ain't telling nobody to break up. You do what you got to do, but I hear BBW. That girl is poison. Be careful. So you've got the social charming liar. 
cancer energy here. This may be someone who's come, who comes across as loving and protective of you. But they're doing that because of where you're going. They're doing that because of the benefits of fucking with you, being with you. But in the meantime, they are learning. They are prepared for action if need be, even if that action is against you. So if you are, if you do have some fame to your game or you're headed in that direction, learn to accept yourself because you got somebody next to you who hasn't accepted even you. And they're just codependent on where you're going or the potential that you bring. But, but deep down, they hate your fucking guts. Gemini energy returns. Can be somebody who can brag about being with you. But in private, they downplay your greatness. The fuck? Well, you got a phony ass bitch. So look for check check your circle and quietly extract the poison. Because you got somebody that's close to you, very close to your star, very close to your goals, so close they could see you realizing them. Um, if you can't move out or move them out, stop talking about the greatness. Because it just makes them more emotional on the inside. They may be showing you flat face on the outside, but it's like you're building a very aware opponent. You're building a very poisonous opponent. Okay. Um, events? I feel like I need to draw an event card for you. What's an awakening event coming for four next week from the person? Something that you're going to see. If this is your data, you got next week, your person the one you need to quietly move the fuck away from, you're going to see them hold on to a betrayal. Somebody's going to do something bad to them. They're going to get cheated on something. Or they're going to, something happens where they don't trust someone close to them. And so they're going to cut off a friendship. They're going to cut off a connection. Pay attention to how they do it. Second message. If this is your person, pay attention to how they talk about people behind their back. Something in particular, some issue they're they're putting a dead time on, like they're deading it, not cool with those people no more, or that person, fuck that bitch type shit. Pay attention to how they act. Ask questions. Be supportive, but be really listening. Be really paying attention. How they choose the next path or how they deal with the betrayal that happens to them. I feel like you're going to get to see them like plan to do something against the person who betrayed them. What the fuck? Nah, bro. Check out the math. So whoever, if, if that's your data next week, you're going to see the one you need to get the, the most poisonous snake in your environment. They get betrayed or they go through some type of some type of experience where they feel like they were wrong um, by someone close to them. And all I'm saying is pay attention to how they handle information they recently found out. <laughs> See how they handle being fucked over by someone that they put energy and love into. Do they turn into a gossip artist? Do they just talk about it and gossip? 
something chemical going on here. But it, see, pay attention to how it controls their mind, their thoughts, their speech, their plans to get back at somebody or what they wish on them. Whatever you're hearing can be manifested and will be manifested into the real world when it's time for them to do that to you. It may be something to do with a car. What about the car? Somebody may do something physical like so-and-so don't like me or they did this. I'm going to go fuck their car up or I'm going to drive over there and give them a piece of my mind. Yeah. Pay attention to their behaviors and what they do when they're not happy. This can be somebody who, um, you may watch that poisonous person get other people on board or sit around talking to everybody about it. Just be paying attention to how they handle betrayal when it hits them. Okay? That's who you'll need to move out of your space. Just be sitting there quietly like, damn, if you do it to them, you're probably going to do that to me. A secret is revealed. And it is revealed in the way someone chooses to solve things that they deem a problem. You're going to hear how the one you need to move out of your space, you're going to hear what they think a reward is. You're going to hear what they think is, you know, like what how they treat others who they don't like. And don't make, don't even think for a second. They won't do 10 times worse to you. Okay. Um, hold on. I will do a quick yes or no. For anyone who needs it, we'll do, I'm going to split the deck three ways. Select the deck that catches your attention, and let's see if your answer's there. Okay. Did you select this one? Oh, wait a minute. I'll give you a second answer question. Make sure it's one yes or no question. Did you select this deck? The answer is no. There is a lesson that must be dealt with first, or you're in the middle of a life lesson. Your question involved um, a lack of experience. Anyways, did you select this deck? Uh, whatever this question is, you need to stop asking it because it's not healthy. Whatever you're asking about is unhealthy. Yeah. And it comes out with a no anyway. So let's put that there. Did you select this deck? Well, loving the self is key. Let me turn that right. So the answer is yes. Okay. It's a yes in multiple directions. So whatever the question was, make sure it is beneficial truly to you. Whatever the question was, you may want Something, if you're asking about a person, there's yes in both directions, though. Just make sure the value of this question is equal to both sides. 
I also see working out, fitness. I see someone uh, walking on a treadmill. I don't know what that's got to do with anything, but okay. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you stayed all this time, I hope the reading was helpful. Long. That was not the plan. It was only supposed to be 50 minutes. But if the information is needed, it is needed, and I shall read it. Um, and if you did enjoy this, please like, comment, subscribe, share, whatever. It helps the channel grow, and it encourages me to do more readings, right? I appreciate you being here nonetheless. And I hope that you have a wonderful and aware and a very safe week. All right? Be well. I'll see you next time.